The big story today continuing to dominate uh, political headlines here and also in Indonesia is the continuing standoff between the two countries over the latest spying allegations. This morning, the Greens have been not mixing their words at all, with Adam Bandt accusing Tony Abbott of pandering to redneck voters. Well, Tony Abbott has always been an aggressive, hairy-chested politician, but that's not necessarily what's needed in the field of international relations. And we're now entering quite risky territory. Tony Abbott uh, is worryingly um, risking the relationship with Indonesia for the redneck vote at home. And this isn't necessarily what is in Australia's best interest. Accused of playing politics on the matter, the Greens leader Christine Milne took a more conciliatory tone, calling on Tony Abbott, the Prime Minister, to take the approach that Barack Obama did with Angela Merkel. This has been a similar sentiment expressed by Labor. President Yudhoyono has taken this as a personal affront to him, his wife and his inner circle. The only way that Tony Abbott can smooth this and help to rebuild the relationship with Indonesia is to pick up the phone to President Yudhoyono and have a personal discussion, just as President Obama did with Angela Merkel. The, the, the world has been thrown, to use an American parlance, a curveball with the Snowden revelations. We have to work through it. Now, if you, if you look at a, a Obama and Merkel, they were on the phone very quickly. That it's a bit of a guide in terms of how to get things back on track. Um, but the government is the one, other ones in the chair. The coalition would just prefer that this be out of the headlines altogether after Tony Abbott yesterday at the beginning of question time refused to give that apology that the Indonesian authorities, the Indonesian government has sought. Jamie Briggs, a coalition frontbencher, was doing his best to play down the issue today, calling it a bump in the road of uh, the relationship with Indonesia. Ultimately, as the Prime Minister said yesterday, we have an obligation to ensure the Australian people are uh, represented appropriately and uh, our, our arrangements, our security is best protected uh, as in the best way we can, as a government, ensure we can. Uh, and in that respect, um, the, as the Prime Minister said in Parliament yesterday, we, we are obviously uh, very keen to work very closely with the Indonesian government. We will continue to work closely with the Indonesian government. This will be a speed hump. And in breaking news, Indonesia has officially downgraded the relationship status with Australia in the wake of these spying allegations. Marty Natalagawa, the foreign minister, has said the downgrading in the level of the Indonesian-Australian relationship has been done. We have taken measures, measured steps in accordance with their response and attitude.